Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am so glad to be here. Last week was the wackiest, wacky event that we've ever had. I think most of you know what we did, but let me just kind of reiterate. 26 of us, there should have been 29, but the Voss team, Brian Voss, Sarah Coleman, and Michelle Awad, unfortunately, were not able to join us because their plane um, was canceled. Their flight from Chicago to, to uh, Las Vegas was canceled, and so they ended up driving to Milwaukee, flying to Phoenix, and by the time they rented a car and got to the Grand Canyon, they would have been up all night long and all day long the day before getting ready to be there to go on this journey. It was not wise for them to to take the hike. But Brian, bless his heart, was there to meet us at the at the finish and uh, able to ride home with us. And they, they're they great financial contributors and spiritual supporters of Wacky. We are grateful for them, but regret that they couldn't actually participate with us. But we had 26 participants then. All of us made it. So let's just say that, first and foremost. The time ranged from eight hours, excuse me, the time ranged from 12 hours to 20 hours. And so for some, they were able to to get through it in 12 hours. They, we started at 2 o'clock in the morning. By the time we got to Trailhead, it was around 3.20. Our first group went out at 3.20. Our second group went out at 4. Our first group went out at 3.40. Our second group went out at about 4.20. They eventually got commingled as they went down it, but we went seven miles down the Grand Canyon, stepping over mule poop uh, and mule divots and, uh, and seeing mule trains dodging them on the way down, but a very steep descent down into the valley where the Colorado River is, over the Colorado River to a place called Phantom Ranch, where we kind of collected ourselves, and then in smaller groups took out to go across what is called the Hot Box, a seven-mile stretch that goes up a canyon that in the hottest day of the year, wouldn't you know it, 108 degrees plus, we started going across that. Now, because you have others that have greater stamina, just for a number of different reasons, the ones with the most stamina took out they go first. Uh, the challenge there is the one with the least amount of stamina are the ones that get caught in the heat box as they go across. So we had a half a dozen people that were very last that got really caught in the heat box and that was very, very tough. Luckily, we had a couple people, strong people along with them that helped get through that. And as we went to the top, there were also those that went early but had came from zero elevation to the Grand Canyon because you're coming down to about a little over 2,000 feet then you got to climb up to over 8,000 feet to get out altitude sickness became a problem and uh, for three or four of them they got nauseous one of them was severe enough that we had to get him to a hospital down in Kanab and he spent the night there we picked him up the next morning but the dynamics of the group we had some family members going together. I'm so grateful that my fam a couple of my family members were able to join us, a few of the family members. I'm so grateful that uh, I see other family members either as cheerleaders or actually going on the trip together. There were others that were just there because they believe in wacky. Uh, there, was some, there was those like Tony Childress has been at every wacky, major wacky event that we've had, major running event. Uh, since Nashville, the very first one, and he had his family with us, and what an inspiration they are, and he is. Robin Estevez had his family, what an inspiration they were, and what an inspiration Robin was. He was the one of the ones that got caught in that hot box where he was completely drained, and how he had the courage to get through that. Hope Walls, same way. Lori, same way. And our EMT, my sweet niece, tough as nails, staying back to help everybody else. She also got caught in that heat wave. And so that heat wave kind of affected her. But Dave Sheffield, myself, a fellow by the name of Jeff Myers, we kind of hung back. Jeff was fighting enormous blisters, but you would never know it because he had the positivity that kind of kept everybody going. So we kind of, we were the tail end of this. And so the very first to finish and the very last to finish, technically, had Thompson as their name. So if you recall from previous Meaningful Mondays last time, I mentioned Carolyn Thompson, who was going to be on this trek with us. Carolyn, two months ago roughly, came down with a severe form of leukemia. She's now at MD Anderson being treated. She's, everything's going great for her. She's as great as it can. And she's hoping for, soon she's qualified for and found a donor for a bone marrow transplant. So our prayers and thoughts are with her. But her son, Taylor, 
ran in her place. Or not ran. Well, he did run, actually. He was tough. And he had his trainer and good close family friend, Ross, with him. And they finished first in about 12 hours. So a Taylor finished first. And in my backpack, we had a flat Carolyn. And flat Carolyn was sitting in my backpack. And since I finished last, I kind of, I was the caboose that kind of headed every, everybody up there. When I finished last, I finished last because I wrapped up the, um, the banner that kind of welcomed everybody that came in. Three minutes before midnight, wrapped up the banner. And brought it up. And Carolyn, flat-faced Carolyn, she came in last. Now, I have to say this. There are certain individuals, every individual, let's put it this way, every individual made a difference in this particular event. If we hadn't had everybody along, it would have been a completely different experience. We could not have done it without their contribution. They all know who they are. Warren, Manny, Bo, Becky, Lee, Lori, Tony, Alexis, Andre, Amy, Robin, Jeff, Megan, Brock, Rick, Cassie, Jeff, Hope, Dave, Brent, Kelsey, Ross, Dave Sheffield, Carolyn, and, and Taylor, Dave Van Buskirk, Brian Voss, of course, who couldn't make his family, and Leslie Wilkie, and her husband, Scott, who was a great contributor. And Rick Knight, whose wife, Mary Ann, was a great contributor, a volunteer, when I say contributor. And the other family members that volunteered, um, a lot, you know, that were there as part of it, made such a huge difference. Everybody made a difference. I'm so grateful for this experience. I know this. Like most experiences, but when experiences take you through extreme hardship, which we went through, we went through some extreme hardship, that the blessings take time to show up. And not only the blessings, but the learnings. So my prediction is this. As we evaluate all of the stories that happened along this trek, as we evaluate all of the experiences that happened, my prediction is that for each one of us, we will continue to have lessons that we've learned that will help us personally overcome obstacles. It will help us also help to teach and to share others and help them overcome obstacles as well. This was an, a lifetime experience. For many of us, it was check. Okay, I've done it. Would I ever do something like this again? I think I would. Would Lori? Nope. <laughs> would several other people? Nope. Check. And so this was an amazing experience. We're so grateful it was successful. We will raise over $50,000 thanks to those that went out there on the hike. Those of you that have supported heavily. We feel bad that the Voss family could not join us. Bill LaMacchia, we we missed you, but we are so grateful that you were able to provide us with transportation. Raul was a great driver. We had a great coach that took a, a motor coach that took us from Vegas to the north rim uh, to the to the south rim and then picked us up on the north rim, uh, and and it, it helped make the experience. So from the bottom of my heart, literally. You are, all of us, those of you that have participated in with it. It's not too late. If you still want to contribute and be a wacky warrior, you can still do that. But all of us, so much, we're, I'm so grateful, so grateful for Dave, for Lynette. It wouldn't have happened without you, Dave Sheffield. You were an amazing leader in advance of this. The detail that you did to, put this, to make this happen was phenomenal. And at the same time, you were an example on the trail. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Life's experiences are there to teach us. Life's experiences are there for us to learn from, and if we do that, they will benefit us throughout the rest of our lives. I want each of you to have a meaningful week this week. I will. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.